everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are starting a new project it is the 5d fashion diamond painting of the hogwarts crest i'm not sure if you can see the picture right there but this is a 30 by 40 and it should be a lot of fun it it's a nice break from the massive painting I just finished. So we will open it up. And it looks like I stole the um, toolkit out of this. So it's nicely done. Um, I would still call this a full drill just because it's the entire crest. Um, it's small, so probably not a lot of detail as far as the lion's concerned or the eagle for Ravenclaw, but not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and try to flatten this a little bit. And it is for glue. As you can tell by the clear, um, the clear, clear cellophane. Uh, let's see here. The sticky's pretty good, so it should be a fun little project. Now the diamonds aren't bad. These are round. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, they're pretty colors. Uh, and we just have some labels that I will definitely save just in case I run out. Unfortunately, there are no um, DMC numbers here. So that might be a problem. However, there are DMC numbers on the package themselves. I don't know if... Let me take this out. Maybe it'd be a lot easier. So it does look like the DMC numbers are on the bags. I can't get them. Hello, focus. Focus. They're kind of hard to see, but they are there. So that's good. And like I said, this is small, so there's not a lot of diamonds. But the quality looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to set this up and get ready to paint. So I will be right back. And we're back. So I'm just going to cut these open and get them set in my case here. Now I got this from Amazon. I actually saw this first um, over on another YouTube video, I think it's four kids at 147. She had this and I bought it. Um, there's a link in the description below if you want to also uh, purchase one. These are nice because it's a screw top and they can be taken out and moved around because sometimes I will use just the lid as a tray if I don't have a whole lot to do at once. But, so all we're doing is cutting the bags apart. There are 20 colors in this. And like I said, the DMC number is not on the canvas itself, but it is on the bags. So I will use both the number on the key and the DMC code so I can put it in my spare diamond storage later. Uh, let's 
honestly, I think this project is only going to take me a couple hours to do. It might take me longer to set up than to actually do the diamond painting itself. So let's get this out of the way and just kind of let it be hanging out. can't go very far. So here we have one. Static, but not too bad. And if anybody is wondering, no, I'm not throwing this on the floor. There's actually a trash can underneath me. Let's see here. This one is number 16. And these labels are repositionable. Makes it easier to get them on and off. So this is a round. Which, that's what I did. Just got through doing was a round. I should be doing a square soon, but I just kind of do them as they come. I don't really have a preference as far as between round and square. I like them both. They both have their advantages and they both have their disadvantages. However, if I do a heaven and earth design, I will be using square because it won't let the, can the white canvas show through. red. <laughs> I'm just putting these over to the side because they're out of order. And my brain doesn't want to work today. about this I can just kind of move these around so these can go in any slot I don't have to worry about matching the little tub up with a specific hole
trying to get this in some semblance of an order. So what I'm going to continue to do is put these in their tubs and I'll be right back and show you what the final product looks like. Okay, I'm back. I've gotten all except for the last four. Potted up, so I thought I would let you see the last little bit of it. Now one thing I have been looking at is the painting some of the symbols are pretty dark so I'm afraid I'm going to have to bust out my light pad to make it easier to see which isn't that big of a deal this is actually be the first time I'd use my light pad so that's kind of cool I haven't been able to use it yet because my last painting, the symbols were so clear I didn't need it. So I will... I actually have two light pads. I have a very large one because I do a lot of large paintings. We're going to have a smaller one. I think it's an A3. My biggest one's an A3. My smaller one is an A4. Alright, last one. And I know this diamond painting won't take long because there's not a lot of diamonds in each bag. Most of them only take up about that much of the pot, so this one should go pretty quick. Alright, so let me get my... This is how it's set up. And we have all of the... Got the number that corresponds on the diamond painting right here and then the DMC code so I can put it up after I get done so that's done and now I will get my light pad so I'm gonna try it on this one this one might be too small And these are actually just held on by under clips. Uh, yeah, it would be too. The, the picture itself isn't too small, but I have nothing to plant this on. So I'll get my bigger one. And this one will just have to wait.
And these binder clips don't hurt the light pad. They actually came with it. I know it'll fit on this beast. Yeah, it'll fit quite easily. I'll actually work on it like this. And this gets held on by these little magnets, so I could just leave it sprawled out and it'll flatten. It should flatten. Alright, so the crest is ready to go and in my next video I will show you a time lapse of me working on this. So I'll see you next time.